Hey, ciao, 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 welcome back to another video, it's your boy Sabo's in here, back with another video, playing some more, um, Detroit Become Human, and we back with another one, and we about to continue the video, the story mode, so man, let's get it, got my little sister here with me, uh, so let's get it. I want some shit in too. Number five in the third. Lickety Y'all look both ways. Philly's one hell of a chaser. You want to flutter? Last shit hot tip you gave me. Set me back a week's wages. <laughs> Come on. This is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. He is lying. Straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I apologize for behavior. No, bitch. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. As it's cyber life thought everything, huh? Here you go. Hamburger. That nigga about to die for that nigga for his bike. Dead. Right. Uh -huh. no, do not take a sip of that drink. And this HLR soda That's set. A 2K Damn. Nigga, pineapple passion is crazy. <laughs> Alright. I'm not gonna do something else, but. Alright, so. Thanks, Gary. I'm starting. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Smart as nigga ain't getting no frost. <laughs> nigga, let's address it, nigga. <laughs> The meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. But he's gotta die of something. Got that nigga there, man. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. <laughs> I am not about to lie. Right. <laughs> this morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. About Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um. Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. 
<laughs> oh shit! Genius. Yeah, he like, Maybe I should what tell I you what we up. know about you. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Yeah, Not much. Sure. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this, this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. Really important. <laughs> Our feathers. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. So you think I should just walk around this whole building? Hey, were you really sure? making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Oh, the check Shit. everything. Wish I could do that. Womp womp pink. I can't do nothing. All right, you're just a lazy, fat drunk. All right, come on, let's question these suspects. Stay behind me. Got it. Nothing. 
Get in here. That's what I'm saying. Our man's gone. I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Man, I'm just in disbelief. Like how are these birds in this apartment? Cause it's crazy. Make sure you unlock that lock thing. Okay. Something you eat. What? What? Man, that looks Yuck. exactly like it. Man. I hate when he does that. Blue blood. He said, God damn. You see his face? <laughs> Take. Ooh. Now he kind of figured out they take out the little wind. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. You can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. Do you? 
silver android always had her in the in the goddamn attic. What? I did. Uh, oh, this is weird. Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Ooh, hop over. Ooh, fresh square. Oh, hot. Oh, hmm. I could do that. All right. Miss no buttons, guys. Where, 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 where? Look out! Get off me! Ooh! Ooh! Oh God! Look at this shit, Dave. Kill Connor? No, I'm not. Come on. Direct the Look out! Yeah, I'm like I'm pressing it, cuz like. Should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't right. for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Bitch, you better say thank you, nigga. Nigga, I owe you one. But y'all, y'all are considered friends now. I don't need a nigga to be my friend, nigga. Yes, you do. <laughs> nigga, come on, cuz. Hey, cuz. Y'all thought I was about to kill him off, huh? Oh, oh brother. Damn. Man. That shit was stiff. Right. Come nigga, on. 64. I can't, can't believe y'all. Y'all disrespect. I'm man, jumping off. Ooh, ooh, joking. Come on, cuz I'm really him. But let's continue to stare. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. 
And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Marcus like, nigga, I don't know the fuck you ain't do. This die don't mean nigga like me interactions and shit like They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. So we got another thing locked, so Yeah. It's crazy how we are here helping already, nigga, first day in. Right, like why didn't y'all do this before?
What was your function before coming here? Cut our what do you care? Damn. Give me another try. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. You can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No. I don't want to shut down. play this game as you can see there's a different meaning to all of this uh, are you lucy it. sit down out of all these robot parts you could have found a head Wire that braids is crazy. <laughs> Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny.
her full head. Yeah, she missing a whole dog. That's crazy. Just a little bit. Simon, I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. That's what I'm saying, though. You ain't the first. I told you one day, uh. Uh, uh, uh.